Today marks the 32nd year that the world will be without legendary Led Zeppelin drummer John Bonham, and although he's gone, he's certainly not forgotten. He was known for being outlandish and crazy as drummers were back then, and many would debate who is crazier, John Bonham or the late Keith Moon from The Who. Back in England in the late 60s and early 70s in what is now the golden age of hard rock, Led Zeppelin and Black Sabbath would pal around. As written in his book Iron Man, Black Sabbath guitarist Tony Iommi was good friends with Bonham, and he told Artisan News late last year when talking about the book, they'd hang out whenever they'd get a chance. I used to go out quite a bit with John. We used to go clubs and, uh, you know, I'd either go to his house and have a party. And he was quite a wild character, I might say. And it was good fun, you know, it was good fun. Unless we went out and he was driving, then that was bad fun because he, he used to get really pissed, drunk, and, and then drive back. And in them days, you, it, the police weren't so hot, you know. So how crazy was John? Iomi remembers one harrowing experience driving with him. I remember one occasion when we went to a club. He'd just bought a new car, and he bought something like a Maserati. And um, we were driving up the wrong way up this road, and I said, we're going the wrong way. He went, oh, it's all right. And he, he drove straight out, because in England we've got the islands that you go around to go to different lanes. And he goes straight over the island. We got stuck on this island on the top, ripped all the bottom of this new car he'd got. I thought, oh, no. So we had to get out and get a cab and get home. And he left it there. But these were the, the things he'd done, you know. So it turns out that um, I used to end up driving most of the time to make sure we, we were all right. You never knew you were going to get home with him. Tony also recalled in Iron Man how they went out drinking before John's wedding and his wife wouldn't let him in. He also said that during a jam between the two bands, Bonham broke some of Bill Ward's drums. And since then, every time John asked to get behind Bill's kit to jam, he said emphatically, no.